everyone. As we know, IELTS consists of four modules, listening, reading, writing and speaking. I can say that the majority of students find the listening part easier and get higher results. It is very usual to see most of students getting 9 or 8.5 from this part. But it doesn't mean that it is a piece of cake. Of course, there are many challenges and the most problematic one for many students is multiple choice questions. Also, multiple choice questions can be scary for many students. By following strategies, you can easily find answers to these questions. So, today, in this video, firstly, I'm going to talk about the reasons why these questions are difficult and secondly, I will discuss the strategies for doing these kind of questions. Let's get started. There are many reasons why students make many mistakes in the multiple choice questions in the listening module. The first one is they expect to hear the same words. Don't forget, your answers will be given in the forms of synonyms or paraphrases. Do not expect to hear the exact maths or exact keywords. Especially in multiple choice questions, your keywords in both questions and also choices will be strongly paraphrased. Besides this, another problem is there is no time to read all the questions. Sometimes in multiple choice questions, the choices can be very extended and long, and of course it is time consuming. In this case, students fail to read all the questions and understand what the options and questions are about, and as a result, at the end they make mistakes easily. Next problem is low level of understanding. It means in this case, you are not only bad at multiple choice questions, but also you cannot do other kinds of questions because you haven't developed your listening skills yet. Try to improve your general English understanding. Actually, you can start by watching movies in English, as well as listening to different kinds of talks in English can help you develop your general level of comprehension. And finally, the biggest problem is students don't read the questions and also choices. It's very important in listening part to focus on questions and choices, as all the options can be mentioned by the speaker. In order not to make mistakes in multiple choice questions, try to look at all the questions and choices and understand the difference between the choices. As I mentioned before, no matter how difficult these questions are, if you follow instruction and strategies, in this case, you can improve your skills in this part. Now, let's talk about the strategies for multiple choice questions in the listening module. Whenever you see you have multiple choice questions in the listening module, the first thing you have to do is to look at the instruction. Usually, you are given a statement and related to statement, you are asked to choose only one letter. And in this case, it means you have three or four choices and you have to choose only one letter. But sometimes you can be given a question and the question, I mean the instruction, can ask you to choose two or three letters. And that's why you have to be very careful about the instruction and in this case you have to choose two or three letters. The next step is to look at the questions. Actually, if you cannot focus on the question and understand what the question asks you to do, in this case you can fail. Besides looking at the question, you have to also look at the choices. We know that in multiple choice questions, all the options can be mentioned by the speaker, so it can be very confusing. And in order not to fail in this part, you have to also look at all the options and underline the keywords in both question and also choices. And also you have to be very good at managing your time. In order to manage your time, you have to skim all the questions and understand what the questions are about and also follow the speaker, of course. If you don't understand what the speaker is talking about, in this case, you can fail. Don't write the first answer you hear. Firstly, listen to the speaker and understand everything because the speaker mentions all the options. So, listen till the end and at the end analyze and choose correct answer. In case you don't have any idea about the question and you are not sure what the correct answer is, in this case, make a guess and go on. These are strategies for multiple choice questions, but in order to understand them in more detail, let's practice together. 
In this part, I'm going to explain how keywords can be given in multiple choice questions and how we should find them. Let's now look at the first question. Becoming a friend of Laverton Art Center A costs 15 pounds, B costs 50 pounds, and C doesn't cost anything. In this question, as we are asked to find the fee for becoming a member of Laverton Art Center, our keyword is cost. So, we have to underline cost in all the options, I mean A, B, and C. As I mentioned, we have to underline keywords because it helps us later understand the meaning of the questions and we don't need to look at the same question and read choices again and again. Now, it is time to look at the second question. How many newsletters do friends receive each year? A4, B1, C3. In this question, we are asked to find the number of newsletters given each year. So, we have to underline how many newsletters in the second question. Then, we also should underline each year to find exact answer. But when it comes to choices, there is no keyword and they are numbers, so it is easy to see the differences between choices. Let's now look at the third question. Friends of the art center can buy a. More tickets than other visitors b. Tickets before other visitors and c. Books earlier than other visitors Here, firstly we have to focus on the question itself and find what it asks to find. So, in this statement we have to find what they can buy. That's why can buy is the keyword. We have to underline it and then we have to be very quick and look at the choices. As choices are longer, we have to read all of them and find keywords. In order to find keywords in the questions, we have to focus on the differences in the questions. It means we have to underline more tickets in A, tickets before in B, and books earlier in C. As here you see, in multiple choice questions, keywords can be given in three cases. They only can be given in choices as in the first question, or they can be given in the questions as the second one. And usually keywords are given in both question and choices as in the third question. So what you should do is to read all the questions as well as choices and find keywords. Now let's look at listening script and analyze what our answers are. Receptionist. Laverton Art Center. How can I help you? Caller. Hello. I have been to the Art Center a few times recently and I understand you have this scheme for regular visitors. Receptionist. The friends of Laverton Art Center. Yes, that's right. Caller. I wonder if you could tell me a little about it. I mean how much it costs and what benefits it offers. Things like that. Receptionist. Certainly. Well, first of all, the good news is that we have recently changed the scheme. It used to cost £15 a year, but now it is free. All you have to do is fill in an application form. You can either come to the Art Center and do that here, or you can go to our website and apply online. In this part, Firstly, we can be confused, as it is said, it used to cost £15 a year. As I mentioned before, don't write the first answer you hear, because later the receptionist says, but now it is free. You see, here our answer is C, as our answer, I mean doesn't cost anything, is given in the form of synonym and paraphrased, as it is free. As a result, our answer is C in the first question. Now, let's analyze the second question. Color. And so, what are the benefits of joining? There are actually quite a few. As a friend of Laverton Art Center, you will receive a newsletter every three months with information on all the forthcoming events. Color. That sounds useful. Here, our keyword newsletter is mentioned. It shows the speaker is talking about the second question. 
It said you receive a newsletter every three months. Some students can choose C, but here our keyword is also each year. As the receptionist says the woman will receive a newsletter every three months, it is four times each year. Therefore, our answer in the second question is A. Now, it is time to look at the third question. Receptionist, you also get priority booking for shows and concerts in the main theater. Caller, can you explain how that works exactly? Receptionist, yes. What that means is that when tickets go on sale for the first two days, they are only available to friends of the art center. So, as long as you book early, you can make sure you get seats. Receptionist says, when tickets go on sale for the first two days, they are only available to friends of the art center. If we are concentrated and listen carefully, then we can see that our answer here is B. In this kind of questions, as long as you look at all the choices and understand the differences, then you can instantly choose correct answer. That's all for today. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Thank you.